welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sean and in this video we're going to talk about Bloodsport. Suicide Squad 2, which is called The Suicide Squad, is coming out very very soon. It's directed by James Gunn and he directed the first two Guardians of the Galaxy film. In The Suicide Squad, we'll be introduced to Bloodsport, who is going to be played by Aegis Elba. And in this video, we're going to talk about the origin of Bloodsport. So without further ado, let's get into it. Bloodsport's real name is Robert Dupra and he first appeared in Superman Vol. 2, Issue 4, 1987. When Robert Dupra was a young man, he was drafted to fight in the Vietnam War. However, he was too scared, so he decided to run away and hide in Canada. His brother Mickey was forced to take his place. However, Mickey had injuries. He lost his legs and arms while he was serving. This broke Robert Dupra and it it broke him mentally and he was in different psychiatric hospitals in Canada. Soon after, Lex Luthor find Robert Dubra and decide to use him to kill Superman. He gave Robert Dubra a teleporting device to help him teleport any weapon into his hand. So any weapon that Robert just imagines, he can just teleport into his hand just by imagining it because he has a teleportation device given to him by Lex Luthor. Lex and his scientists decide to plan Robert's guilt by messing with him and making him even more guilty of what happened to his brother. Once that happened, they decide to send him out to kill Superman. However, Lex realized that he made a mistake because Robert went insane. He became Bloodsport and imagined himself as some sort of war veteran, a Vietnam war veteran, and he decided to attack random places in Metropolis. Bloodsport went around and killed more than 25 innocent civilians just to draw Superman. Superman eventually comes to go take him down. However, Bloodsport can, like I said, can teleport any weapon into his hand and he teleport a weapon that shoots out kryptonite needles, which he shoots Superman with and then Superman got injured. After Superman recovered, he went and fought Bloodsport again. However, he decided to heat vision the eyes on in the air around Bloodsport's hand so that Bloodsport can't teleport any more weapons to hurt Superman. Meanwhile, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen went and discovered Bloodsport's history and past and decided to go get his brother, Mickey, and bring him to the battle between Superman and Bloodsport. And he brought him there so that Bloodsport can remember what really happened so that he can stop. Once Bloodsport found out what really happened to his brother and how he like ran away and how it broke him, he collapsed on the ground and it really did break him again. He was then sent to Strikers Island. Once Robert Dubrow went to prison, his cellmate was Alex Trent, who was this racist and he was a member of this white supremacy group. He also had the name Bloodsport, and to stop any attention between them, the warden decided to have a boxing match between the two of them, while Superman was at the was a ref. And of course, Robert Dubrow eventually went and became a member of the Suicide Squad as Bloodsport. Now, let's get into powers and abilities. Bloodsport doesn't have a lot, he just has hand to hand combat, so he knows how to fight and he's an expert in firearms so he knows how to use different guns. Like I said, he had that teleporter ability given to him by Lex Luthor so that he can teleport any different type of weapons including a gun that can shoot kryptonite needles. So yeah. But like I said, not much. He's a pretty physical guy. He's pretty strong but he's not like Superman strong. So yeah. But anyway, that's yeah, not much to his powers. So yeah. So Bloodsport is going to be in the Suicide Squad. He's being played by Idris Elba. So yeah. Uh, me personally, I'm not too invested in Bloodsport's character. However, I do like Idris Elba and I think he's a great actor and I'm excited to see what James Gunn and Idris Elba does with the Bloodsport character in this film. So yeah, anyway, yeah, there you go, Bloodsport. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, share this with your friends and family. Comment down below if you're excited for the Suicide Squad and yeah, peace. Thanks guys.